Everybody select your date that will suit you. So I selected 30th December to give thanks to God for making it possible for me to follow my age, mate, and you know, uh, do a one man ceremony. Exactly. So that's so, it. Seeing the goat today is a part of the occasion. Yeah, this, this wonderful goat was bought mm -hmm. by my wife. I'm going to say, well, your wife has to say, she will be present. So that's exactly what we are doing today. Mm. On your age grade of Abreba. On your age grade of Abreba. So allow me have one our junior to take over. Mm. So today is the Thanksgiving. That's why I was up on her. To me, I wonder these guys are doing well in the name of uh, Christianity. More a very deep. Uh -huh. It has something to do with your culture. 
Like, uh, I uh, so my advice to the young ones is it's all about community development. Like we are building the nursing school of Abriba, that's what we are doing now and other things we are, we are doing for the community. Most of the project in Abriba was done by 8th grade. So that's what 8th grade is all about. So uh, my advice to them is to do better than us. They like on nursing school, when they are on national stadium, where you all come, so that's it. Now mm. unity. So what do you have to tell people that will celebrate with you today? Uh, what we're doing today, Abuka, or any personal, so you just to give God back the glory. I know you because, have us. Uh -huh, because not, not everybody my age witness, is witnessing today. Yeah. Some has died now yeah. uh -huh, along the line. So we are lucky to be alive. So that's what we call it thanks. We are giving God what is due for Him. We are giving back the thanks and praise it for making it possible for us to be so. Uh,
when men were men and women were won by those who deserve them. The indomitable Oliver is great, making marks on the face of history in every field of human endeavor, and one of them is Tachero. The business guru, Lagos Base, a front member of indomitable Oliva Israel. The member Man Kajero. Today is your day. Congratulations. I can see his beautiful wife suddenly behind him. Because behind every successful man, there is a woman.
appreciate you for the things you do. We return glory to you in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Good afternoon, everyone. want to appreciate everyone that has come here this afternoon to rejoice with our brother and our sister, Mr. and Mrs. Halu Igiri today are celebrating with their fellow eighth grade brethren whom God has sustained thus far. Amen. I just want to share briefly with us a short word of exhortation. Amen. And um, this afternoon I'll be reading from the book of Joshua. Joshua in chapter 1. I will then read verses 1 verses 5 and 9 because of time it says now after the death of Moses the servant of the Lord it came to pass that the Lord spake unto Joshua the son of Nun, Moses' minister saying and of course the Bible went on told us the things he told him but from verse 5 he said unto Joshua there shall not any man be able to stand before thee all the days of thy life. As I was with Moses, so I will be with thee. Says, none, he says, I will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. In verse 9, he said, Have I, have not I commanded thee, be strong and of a good courage? Be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed, for the Lord thy God is with thee, whithersoever thou goest. Amen. Brethren, in the scripture, the few verses I just read, the Lord told Joshua, I will be with thee. God promised him that his presence will be with him at all times. It is this same assurance. It is this same assurance that we all have that God will always be with us. And for this reason, confidently we go about our day's business, our day's engagement, our day's activities. We wake up in the morning. Some of us don't even remember to pray. But we just go out believing that somehow everything will work well and we will come back. Amen. Now, this here we find a man who got an express promise from God that he would be with him. Today, we are celebrating our brother who alongside his eighth grade members uh, you know, climbing one pedestal of traditional recognition. Probably between now and the next 20 years or thereabout, they, will, they, they believe they will all be together 
to retire traditionally, but will it be so? That is the question. Everybody is assured of God's help, God's protection, God's preservation. Will we always get it? Joshua was assured he would, God would be with him. But the Bible tells us in the same Joshua in chapter 6. Joshua in chapter 6, in verse 24. Joshua chapter 6, in verse 24. It says, And they burnt the city with fire. That was Joshua and the soldiers when they went to fight a nation called Ai. He said that they burned the city with fire and all that was therein, only the silver, the gold, and the vessels of brass and of iron, they put into the treasury of the house of the Lord. When you go to Joshua chapter 5, I mean Joshua chapter 7, in verse 5, the Bible, okay, let me read verse, verse um, 1 first. He said, For the children of Israel committed a trespass. In their costing for Achan, the son of Kami, the son of Zabdi, the son of Zerah, of the tribe of Judah, took of their costing when the anger of the Lord was kindled against the children of Israel. And in verse 5, he said, The men of Ai smote of them about thirty and six men, for they chased them from before the gate even unto Shebarim, and smote them in the going down, wherefore the heart of the people melted and became as water. What happened here? Let me explain. We don't have the time to read too many verses of scripture. God promised Joshua, I will be with you. God said, when you go to the place, burn everything there with fire. Leave nothing. They went, they burned some, they kept some. This obedience started. Now, despite that God had promised Joshua, I will be with you forever. I will go with you where you go. I will lead you in your endeavors. I will lead you in your business. I will lead you in whatever it is you engage in. The Bible said, a small nation like I defeated them. And they ran away before a little nation. Why? God's presence defeated them. By the grace of God, I will be reading Christian Church of God. And my father and the Lord taught us and said, Anywhere we go, we should remember to remind the brethren of the need for us to walk with God. This Thanksgiving occasion is a good opportunity for us to remind ourselves that though we have an, you know, a promise that God will be with us always, that promise is not guaranteed except we do the things that God says we should do. When we don't, periodically we run into trouble. On a regular basis, Challenges will come. Troubles will come that we don't know where they came from. Praise the Lord. Because at that time, God may have in anger or in disappointment departed from us. And the devil will use us to make the best of I pray for us that God's grace and strength would avail for us always in the name of Jesus Christ. To want to work with us all to achieve our goals. 2017 is around the corner. In 2017, next day will be 2017. I pray for us first of all. None of us shall be missing in 2017. Amen. I came by road. The vehicle I should have come with. Something. I just changed my mind at the last minute. A comfortable private vehicle. I said no. I'll come by public transport. Before my very eyes. At Bini, just before we entered. Bini. The same vein ran into a trailer and it looked like before my very Now, when God says, Walk with me, I will direct your steps, it is because He sees our tomorrow. He knows our tomorrow more than we know our yesterday. He will tell us where to be at every point in time and where not to be. My assistants in the church. We gathered one morning to pray, and I said, look, I just have a feeling. Somebody is going to die. Let us pray. He said, Asa, we always say you see this, you see that. And we finished praying and we left. That afternoon, he was driving the front tire of his, of his vehicle, and he left the van. 
but before them. A certain okay, neighbors, we call them last man, the road traffic enforcement officer, that just slowed him down, attempting to stop him when the tire ran. What if God had not sent help to slow him down and the, and the tire ran off? It would have been a sword. I pray for you. You will see 2017 in Jesus' name. God will guide you. You will see 2017 in Jesus' name. Praise the name of the Lord. What does it mean for us to walk with God? I'll round up in the next two minutes, please. What does it mean for us to walk with God? God says we should demonstrate His righteousness in all we do. God says we should show love to our fellow men, to all of His creatures. What does it mean? God says we should live a life that demonstrates that there is God in us. Our conscience should be active. We should relate with men as we want men to relate with us. What does it mean when God says, walk with me? God is saying, let my character be seen in you. Galatians chapter 5, verse 22 and 23, list the fruits of the Spirit. God wants the fruits of the Spirit to be seen in us. Daily we gather and we celebrate. We celebrate men, we celebrate their achievements, but we also celebrate their character. Praise the Lord. Do we celebrate? Do we celebrate them for the lives they've touched? Do we celebrate them for their goodness to humanity? Do we celebrate them for the help they've given to men? Praise the Lord. God is calling us to walk with Him in making Him the pillar of our lives. God is calling us to recognize that walking with Him sometimes may entail pain, but that we should stand firm in Him. Praise the Lord. Why have I shared with us as I round up? We always wish for life. We wish for good things. But I'd like you to ask your neighbor, when will you go? Very good question. I asked somebody one day, I said, when will Jesus come? He said, ah. They've been telling us since from Bible days, Jesus will come. So until now, he hasn't come. He said, even till I become 80, he will not come. I said, okay, wait. I said, what if you die? He said, no, I cannot die. Hold on. For me, I was born a twin. My twin brother died when we were eight. I've seen eight-year-olds die. I've seen 10 year olds die. I've seen 20 year olds die. I've seen 30 year olds die. 40 year olds. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Why should I be talking about this at this time? Let's talk about it together. Because we've got to prepare ourselves. Walk with God. What if when you say, let me just misbehave a bit and later we walk with God, is when God says, it is your time. We must watch our lives. The other one is, what if when God determines it, when your blessings should come, is when you decide to disobey Him, and the blessings that should follow you decide to leave you. He told Joshua, I will be with you, but at the nick of time, when Joshua needed him most, God wasn't there. It had nothing to do with death. It was a case of, let me partner with you to keep having victory. I call us this afternoon. Please, let's remember, as we are celebrating, as we are rejoicing over experts, let's remember that God wants to partner with us to take us to higher levels. Where we are today is nothing compared to where God wants to take us to. And I know we shall get there in Jesus' name. Amen. A little word for my big brother. Sir, you've been a pillar of hell to men in Lagos. I know you. You've supported many. You've stood by many. But God is yet calling you. He says, walk with me. You will achieve more. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And every one of us here this afternoon, I would like us to bow down our heads briefly and just ask ourselves this question. If God were to appraise my life today, will he say I am walking with him? Ask yourself. If your answer is no, then you need to ask God for help. If your answer is, I am trying, but I am still not there yet, you need to do some work. 
Some of us are making effort, but we are not doing it the right way. God is saying his character must be seen in us. Somebody said, ah, God's mercy endures for me. Yes, it is true, God's mercy endures forever. Yes, it is true that God does not want anyone to die and go to hell. Yes, it is true that God's grace abounds always. But the Bible asks us, shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? The same Bible said, God forgive. Please shall we bow down our heads this afternoon. And I'd like us to ask ourselves a question. Am I walking with God the way I ought? God told Abraham, walk with me and be thou perfect. Ask yourself, are my ways perfect before God? If your answer is no, tell God, please come into my life. Come into my heart afresh. Touch me again. Make me what you want me to be. Repair my relationship with you. Help me, Lord. I want to accomplish much. Walk with me. Direct my steps. In the name of Jesus. Ready to so them time. We are here to celebrate, I know. But yet it's a time to review our lives, even as the year comes to an end. Say, Father, in 2017, I want you to walk with me on every step of the way. Just tell the Lord, pray in your heart. If you want to pray audibly, you're free. Say, Father, in 2017, I want you to walk with me. I have set before me goals to attain. Help me to attain all of them. In the name of Jesus. Your word says in Proverbs that every man will account to himself goodness, but a faithful man who can find. If you leave us to appraise ourselves, we will say we are doing well. Father, search our hearts, convict us where we are wrong. Let us see the wrong in our ways. Like you revealed to Joshua and they remove their costing from their midst that victory may return i pray lord you give everyone here grace to remove their cost lifestyle from their lives that your presence may return fully in the life of all in the name of jesus it's a day of thanksgiving lord god as we thank you as we appreciate you for the life of our brother and his family Lord, please, let your presence tabernacle with us. We give you glory. In Jesus' excellent name, we have prayed. Somebody say a good amen. amen. Praise him and pray that God's hand will rest on them. That God's protection will avail upon them. That God's preservation will abide with them. Please let us pray. Please let us pray, brethren. Join me, let us pray for them. Pray that God's glory will tabernacle over them. That God's presence will never depart from them. Going out and in their coming in. In the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, be with your children. In Jesus' name we pray. Let us also pray that reasons for thanksgiving will never depart from this home. Please join me and pray for them, my brethren. Please just pray. There are reasons for thanksgiving. Reasons for rejoicing. Re reasons for dancing will never depart from this family. The, the Iniri family. The re reasons for rejoicing and dancing will never finish here. Lord God in heaven, nothing will cause them all not to sorrow in the name of Jesus because none shall die young. 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 Your presence shall abide with them always. Thank you, glorious majesty. In Jesus' name we pray. Please, one prayer, one more prayer. I want us to agree together that as our brother is celebrating today, he will be alive to celebrate traditional retirement. In the do we agree? Yes. Please stretch forth your hands to them and say, He and his wife, his children, as they celebrate today, Lord God, they will live to celebrate traditional retirement in the name of Jesus Christ. God, your hand will be with them. 
they will not fail, they will not fall, they will not falter in the name of Jesus. Your glory that preserves it will not diminish from them. Your hand that keep it will not leave them. Lord, no arrow of the enemy that terminates life or that destroys life and health will touch them in the name of Jesus. Your hand we give you praise. My dear Father and my God, we want to thank you. Thank you for your son, your daughter, their immediate and extended family, whom you have given reason to rejoice today. We return glory to you. Dear Lord our God, you are the eyes that watch over Israel. You are the hand that keeps charge of the affairs of men. Father, please, take charge concerning the entire Indian family in the name of Jesus Christ. For your son and your daughter who principally are celebrating today, please, Lord, show them that you are with them. Give them a special gift. Men have been coming, writing their names in registers and giving them gifts. Father from heaven, approve a gift for them that will cause rejoicing in their lives in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we've prayed concerning life for them. Father, please give them the heritage of life. Good life in good health, sound mind in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I pray that the things they ask of you in hiding, give it to them openly, that men might see and give you praise in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord God, I declare as your prophet, no arrow shot at them shall prosper. No evil wish concerning them will come to pass. Because it is written, take counsel together and it will come to naught. Speak the word and it shall not stand. For God is with us. Father, be with them in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord God, today we gather to celebrate. Regularly we shall gather here to celebrate one thing or the other. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Son. In the name of the Holy Spirit. Thank you dear Lord, dear Lord. For all of the family. None shall die young here. The one that dies young shall die at eight. Jesus starring. In the name of Jesus. We bless your name indeed. In Jesus name we pray. Praise ye the name of the Lord. God bless you. God bless you. Please you may return to your seats. Amen. Amen. Shall we please be seated briefly? Um, we are going to do uh, invite our brother, Brother Carly, to please uh, just give us a few words of testimony. It will be done with this in the next five minutes or so. Praise the living Jesus. I'm going to go to Jesus. pastor. So, um, 2016 was my I don't know why I feel everybody. But in the midst of everything, I don't know about my journey. I put their wishes on the I have one on today. I will end the day. I will to God's mercy. So, I think everybody. My pastors are not away from Lagos. I'm a man. There's only one two days in the middle of my car. I'm going to church. I'm going to find him. You're not doing it for a woman. I'm going to say, 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 i Ka na. Ka. 
of victory over the struggles of life at least when men were men and women were won by those who deserve them when there were wars of territorial expansion our elders in their infinite wisdom gathered young men grouping them each grade after another taking them to the community borders where they will save the community from the enemy invading and after four years, every four years, the eighth grade will be replaced with another eighth grade and they will be celebrated. This is exactly what is happening here. It is turn by turn, eighth grade after another. We have taken a vow that the flame of Abriba community will keep burning and that our flag will still fly. That is why we are gathered in this manner. Today, is the turn of Mr. Carl Wojo Ingeli, a strong and a frontline member of the indomitable Onyeba history of Abreba, celebrating the 2016 edition of Iguaman. And that is why we are gathered here so to say a big thank you to the Almighty God, who knows tomorrow from yesterday. We want to say a big thank you to God, who knows the beginning, the end from the beginning. We want to thank God who has the ability to produce money from the belly of the fish, even though the fish does not go with the central bank. We want to thank the Almighty God who knows the secrets of every building, not minding its architectural complexities. God has built God Mojo and God is still sustaining him. Yes, no wonder they say if wishes we are horses, beggars would have inspired to the banks with the intention of building mansions and doing everything that we are had so desired. And uh, 
I don't know. I have seen some of them and today Max the little as a Max a, 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 a one year of a Pajero's baby and uh, it's a double celebration we are a, a combination of a, a celebration of victory over the struggles of life and as well that of one year grace of life by the almighty God in the life of a little baby of uh, Kachero. And uh, I keep telling you that a moment of favor is better than a lifetime struggle. Uh, yeah. And uh, Carlos celebrates victory over the struggles of life. And we have a birthday cake here. We have a birthday cake. And so uh, the family, the little baby will, the little baby will be there and the mother and the father as well as all the family members. Our man of God will still be here to join us doing do justice to that. And then we will continue dancing as we receive our guests. Mr. and Mrs. John O'Kini. Oh. Uh, your wife is with you in the spirit. Mr. and Mrs. John O'Kini and some members of their local government coming down all the way from the United States of America and they are part of the celebration. <laughs> Leads and others follows. You're welcome, madam. Long after that, when the Onyiba Isigi will be here in full, we will do that of uh, Kajero.
Super Bandan, Super Wonder, and Super Natural S. I am talking about Jesus Christ, Son of God. The Prince of Peace, Prosperity, and Plenty, the God of Love, Liberty, and Longevity. Yeah. <laughs> 
Biko Biko na 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 no more. Just got your new mama. Biko Biko na 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 no more. I'm not my 
joy will never cease from their homes. Happiness will never cease from their homes. They will always have reasons to thank God and they will always have reasons to celebrate. They will always have reasons to be happy and joyful in their various homes. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. And ladies and gentlemen, we are still in the mood of celebration. Before we forget, and before we forget, we are here to say thank you to the Almighty God for keeping Carlo alive and for giving him the opportunity to do what his, his mates are doing to celebrate the birthday of his child. Telling people that where you are today is a function of what you did in the past and where you will be tomorrow will only be determined by what you do today and therefore <laughs>